Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to North Country Off Grid. Today we are going to talk about the startup of beekeeping. So if you have been wanting to start raising bees and you're not really sure what it's going to cost or how to go about it, this video right here is going to tell you uh, the basics of what you need to get started and roughly how much it's going to cost. So behind me guys you can see uh, we've got four beehives. Uh, we started out with three beehives, but we are basically going to go through this entire list and talk about what it's going to cost for you to start just one beehive and the equipment that you need. Okay, so guys, first thing on the list starting out before you actually buy any equipment, you should buy a beekeeping book. A beekeeping book is chocked full of knowledge. Books are great to have because you can always go back and reference them and they're right there in a physical form. So books range all over the place. Uh, I was lucky enough to be gifted a couple of books by a viewer when we expressed interest in starting beekeeping, but you can spend money on books uh, at different ranges, different costs. So go find a book that you like. Down below in the description, I will leave a link to all of the equipment we go over, including the books that I have, uh, which I do recommend they are good books. First up is our bee hat. So first, this is a Pro Series beekeeping hat. Uh, it's a little bit nicer material. It's got some hooks on it. It's a little bit better of a sweat band. The cheaper version of these um, had a little bit cheaper material. Now this is not a necessary hat, although I like to have just my veil. And without the hood, um, if you have just a veil, you do need a hat, otherwise your head is sticking out the top. Uh, plus, you look like you're ready to go on safari, and that's a pretty cool bonus when you're out in your apiary first piece of equipment we're going to go over is our hive tool. Now the hive tool I have is a J-hook style hive tool. There's basically two styles of hive tool. The one that I got, I also got gifted to me along with the books from a viewer. He uh, decided that was something that I would like so he sent it to me. Uh, a hive tool is, is pretty much a necessity. It makes it very convenient to get in and out of the hive. Uh, picking around the frames, moving around the bees. I really do like the J tool because it's a smaller profile than the flat end. Uh, the other end of the of the tool allows you to kind of cut your way through all the propolis and any wax that might be in the way and help clean up your beehive. Bee suits. So there is a difference of bee suits. Uh, we got a full suit for Cali. Now this full suit, as you can see, is a little bit tighter of a material. It doesn't breathe that well. This suit specifically was about 70 bucks at our local sporting goods store. Uh, they had some, some of the cheaper names, cheaper equipment, but this was able to fit Callie and it's a nice suit. She wanted to be covered head to toe, so it comes with the veil as well. Whereas I decided to get a bee jacket. Now I just wanted the jacket and I wanted a ventilated jacket. After doing reviews, uh, many people suggested to get a ventilated jacket. Because you are working out in your apiary during the day and generally right in the middle of the day because that is when the bees are most active outside the hive and you have less bees to contend with, that is the best time to work on your bees. So having a ventilated jacket, you still sweat like crazy. It is still like wearing a coat in the middle of summer, but you can feel that breeze coming through and that makes it a little bit more tolerable to be out in your apiary all day playing with your bees. Next up is the veil. Now I got this veil separate. The jacket came with a veil, but I liked this one because it had a little bit more open view on the sides and it allowed me to see a little bit more. The other one was like kind of looking through a tunnel. It was also very close to my face uh, and when I would bend over, my nose would actually touch it. My chin would actually touch it and I wanted a little more space between the veil and my face so that bees didn't get on there and maybe take a little bite out of me. Next piece of equipment is bee gloves. Now there's a wide range of gloves that you can get. You can get ventilated, you can get leather, you can get cotton. Uh, we chose the leather ones for Callie because we definitely wanted to make sure that she didn't get stung, so we went with a thicker material. For me, I got a lighter material. It was uh, cotton, a softer um, material. I wanted to be able to have a little more dexterity in my fingers, but I gotta say because I do have big hands, uh, these gloves are like wearing a small size. They didn't make them in a bigger size, uh, so I am wearing small gloves when doing this stuff. 
and it does limit my dexterity. So most times than not, I don't even wear my gloves anymore uh, just because they don't allow me to get a good grab on the frames and work around the bees safely. Next up is bee brush. Now the bee brush is a nice tool to have. I have used it some. I don't use it as much as I thought I would. It does have its use uh, and it is good to have. The brushes on the bee brush are made to be able to brush the bees and not injure them. It is a softer horse hair, horse tail hair uh, that goes into the brush and that is just more a little more gentle of a touch on the bees than using your hand and possibly damaging their wings. So at $3.99, uh, it's, it's kind of an easy thing to get, throw in your pocket. It's, it's nice to have if you need it and if you don't, you didn't waste a lot of money on it. It's kind of part of the uh, least expensive gear you're going to get. Bee Smoker. So our bee smoker is a cheap bee smoker. We only paid 16 bucks for this thing online. After reading the reviews, many people said that they liked this bee smoker, even over their very expensive bee smoker. Said it did a great job. So we went with one of those. Bee smokers can be very expensive and you can buy really, really nice stuff. This seems quality built and it only costs 15 bucks, which means if I need to buy multiple ones throughout the year, if anything went wrong with them, I'm still not going to be out that 90 to 100 bucks for a top quality smoker. With that being said, the bee smoker works great. Uh, we've used it throughout this entire first season. It's taken no damage. It's still working as good as day one. So I have no complaints. I really recommend this product. There's no need to go out and buy an expensive one when you can get this one that works just as well. All right, guys, now here comes the big ticket items, your beehive. Now your beehives are gonna range. You can find local prices that are probably gonna be a little bit better than online prices. We found a guy locally that was selling hives for 150 bucks a hive. With that, you got your screened bottom board. You got two deep supers. and 20 frames with wax foundation. And the last and most important item, guys, is your bees. Now up here for us, the bees cost $135 for a nuke of bees. That is a starter package of bees. You get about 3,000 bees in the, uh, in the nukes, which is a good start and a good balanced beginning to your hives. So we didn't want to get just one. We were actually advised to get three hives so that way you could compare the three to each other. And if one dies, you still have two healthy hives. If two die, you still have one hive left. But we have Josh, the Stony Ridge farmer, to thank for that advice. So we spent a little more, got three hives uh, worth of bees. So guys, all tallied up and totaled, our bees, our hives, our equipment, not including my daughter's full suit or gloves, our full equipment list cost $481. Now remember when it comes time to make honey or get your honey, honey extraction equipment is a whole nother list to get started, but that'll come in year two as you shouldn't harvest any honey year one anyway. Well, that is our list of stuff you need to get started in beekeeping. I hope it helps you out, kind of lines you out, maybe gives you some suggestions on the equipment that you would like to use based off of what we've found works well. Now keep in mind it is important to raise bees and it is a little expensive to do it, but you will be making some money off your honey if you choose to. You can put all your honey away, you can give it away, or you can sell some jars and try to recoup that price. Also, as your bees expand, you have the opportunity to then turn around and sell your bee splits. So you can make your money back on bees, but initially it is gonna take some money to get started. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this list helps you out. If you're interested in the items below, check them out. I left a link for all of you. You can go and order whatever you want, pick and choose, and find what's right for your apiary. But please consider raising bees. It is great for your family, and it's great for the world.